We'll work them one at a time. And of course, we got the other circulation over there approaching Pickens County, but I want to start with our Birmingham Metro. We're going to take these just one at a time. This is the circulation that is approaching uh, the Highway 269 corridor. Uh, again, it's northeast of Oak Grove. Let's look at the storm relative velocity product right here. And uh, again, right there, very strong evidence of circulation that is crossing Highway 269 right now. And as you can clearly see, that is moving right up toward Adamsville. So we have a tornado uh, indicated by radar, very strong indication of that coming up on the Highway 278 corridor. We do not want anybody right now driving on Highway 269 between Inslee and Birmingport. We do not want anybody driving on US 78 between, say, uh, the Arkadelphia Road exit and Say Re. The core target on this road rotation is going to be coming right up through Graysville and Adamsville on US 78, uh, initially of course coming across the Sylvan Springs Edgewater area on Highway 269. So a tornado warning for Jefferson County and once it crosses over the Highway 78 corridor around Graysville and Adamsville, it's coming up here on the I-65 corridor around Gardendale and Mount Olive. Those are the next communities in the path of this thing. So it's north of Hueytown, north of Concord now. Uh, very strong evidence. In fact, the circulation is increasing and has been now for about the past 15 minutes, which means the danger of a tornado is increasing. And uh, you can see that very well-defined couplet coming right up in this direction toward Adamsville and Graysville. Uh, the shear within this is 70 knots, and the storm is going to move pretty quickly. These storms today moving at speeds of 50 to 60 miles per hour. And you can see on this track we're projecting, this is going to be coming right across Highway 78 and then right across I-65. Highway 78 around Adamsville and Graysville, I-65 around Gardendale and Mount Olive. And then, of course, if it keeps on moving up, it'll wind up moving up toward Trafford in the far northeastern part of Jefferson County. So that is circulation number one. I want to look at our Birmingham Skycam quickly. Once we've finished with this, we're going to go to Tuscaloosa, then back up to the uh, Smith Lake Storm. Uh, there's the Birmingham Skycam, and uh, we're looking northwest. Of course, you can see the uh, big buildings down here, downtown Birmingham. Uh, and at the moment, it looks like the circulation might be a little too far away to see. Uh, we'll pan this back a little bit to the west. Uh, notice that wind out of the south at 25. That's that good inflow coming into the storm. And uh, once again, we just can't see any evidence of any rotation out there a little too far away from that site. Now, let's go down to Tuscaloosa County. We'll take a look at the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Let's look uh, northeast, if we can, uh, Brian, uh, the storm that is exiting the Tuscaloosa area. And uh, as we do this, we've got John Olshu with us. And, and John, tell us where you are and what you've got down there. Hey, James. Uh, I am on 2059, uh, coming out of Tuscaloosa, about to get off here at the Cottondale exit and orient my uh, video camera back towards that storm. I, I got a quick peek at it and couldn't see anything uh, like a wall cloud or anything in it, but uh, about to get a lot better look here as we get up on this um, interstate overpass. Okay, uh, and again, John, you, you're, so you're headed out there toward the old uh, uh, truck stop exit where you had the encounter in 2000, right? That's exactly right. You, uh, you know that place well, don't you? Yeah, I sure do. As a matter of fact, about to get the car turned here and have the camera pointed right at that storm. A lot of scud hanging down on it, but the, these are not going to be uh, funnel clouds. Uh, we should hit that. I don't know if y'all still have that video up, but I uh, should have that here in just a second. Okay, John, we'll uh, check back with you and your video in just a moment. John uh, Olshu out in the field today with a, uh, his uh, dash-mounted camera. And what John is looking for, it's this circulation right here. Uh, this is moving away from the Tuscaloosa Metro. This is going to be passing north of Brookwood. Uh, that's County Road 59 right there that goes up to Kellerman. That goes back up to Oak Grove. But that circulation will be coming up, back up into Jefferson County like the other one. Uh, these things are pretty much like trains on a track. They're moving on the same line. And again, that circulation you can see right there. We'll be crossing across the line into Jefferson. Let's go to our sky cam again, Brian. We're kind of looking northeast on the Tuscaloosa camera, uh, and we'll see if we see anything in that northeast direction. And for the moment, I don't think we do. And, Brian, if you see something, let me know. Yeah, we're, we're not seeing anything right now, James. Uh, I was turned around to the west because we got that warning for Pickens for that next storm coming. But, of course, all these low clouds are really giving us fits today. 